Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. Welcome back to my channel. Yaje here with another gardening video. Today's video is going to be sharing with you updates on these plants that you see right here. These are the garden egg plants, the African garden egg plants that I started from seeds back in January, around the end of January. Transplanted them out here in the garden about four weeks ago. So I just wanted to give you updates, four week updates, so that if you are growing the African garden eggs, you can know what to expect. I'm gonna share with you how much growth I have. Um, flowers have started to form. Let me already give you, give you that. But I will also share with you challenges that I have faced and how I have overcome the challenges. So if you're growing the African garden egg, I hope that you find some value in the information that I am going to share. It's a video series. I started from seeds to transplant and then now it's just growth, care and maintenance. Um, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the video series. So these are the African garden eggs. If you don't know what they are, they are a cousin to the eggplant. So it's a a variety of the eggplant except these are kind of smaller we eat them raw we use them to make like stew soups different things it's really important to many tribes across central and west africa so i'm growing them out here in my backyard and just sharing with you what i have okay let's start with the four week updates and then i'm going to talk about some of the pest pressures that you might experience if you're growing this vegetable or fruit because we cultivate it for the fruits some people say they eat the leaves i don't eat the leaves but i hear that the leaves are edible and maybe medicinal but yeah okay okay guys this is what we have at four weeks my garden eggs are looking very healthy as you can see and look we're starting to have flowers form right here right there so it is starting to flower it's been about i do keep the tag in here just so i can always <laughs> can always know the age of the plant see i started them on the 26th of january and today is around the 14th or 15th of april so i transplanted them out when they were like yeah, eight weeks old six to eight weeks old and now this is how much growth we have so if you're growing the eggplant or the garden eggs sorry you want to start them indoors six to eight weeks before your last frost date and then put them out in the garden look what we have a little ladybug going around and eating some insects that's so cool so guys, growing the garden eggs has not been without challenges. As soon as I put them out here in the garden, guess what came for them? Slugs and snails. Because early spring, um, fresh stuff is just coming out and the snails and the slugs think that you serve them like garden salad, okay? So they're gonna come after your garden eggs. Do not worry, there's a lot that you can do to take care of that problem. Let me show you what I did. I don't know if you can see this, you see this right here this is a collar a protective barrier i just cut the top part of some bucket and then i put that around here around the base of my garden eggs and that kept the snails and the slugs away another thing that i tried to do was put eggshells crushed eggshells there but i did not have enough eggshells to keep away the bugs the slugs, they don't like they don't like the rough nature of eggshells. If you have a lot of them, you can use that as well. But I found that it was not practical for all of the plants that I had. This color right here did it for me. There's something else that I did which I will show you in a moment. All right, guys, this is my my tool basket for. <laughs> taking care of my plants so let me show you what else i did to help me with the slug issue this product right here 
is great for organic gardening. It did help a lot. This one is a bug and slug killer. Granules like this, you can apply once every 10 days. Just sprinkle around the area where you have an infestation, you know, and then the bugs, they will come out at night because they only come out at night. They will come at, come out at night and eat it and then it will clog their digestive system and then kill them that way. So this is more of a long term solution. But in the meantime, if you notice that something, the caterpillars, not the caterpillars, the bugs, the slugs and the snails are coming out at night and eating your stuff go ahead and put some kind of a protective barrier right away okay another thing that i've been doing to kind of like help with my my garden eggs here i've been spraying regularly with neem oil just preventative so every week in the evening i will go around and spray it's on Mon my days and mondays mondays i feed my plants and then i spray them with neem oil in this early stages just to keep away um, fungal attack that kind of stuff you know um, it helps with aphids it helps with powdery mildew a whole bunch of stuff but i find that it works better if you use it as a preventative spray um, so this is one that is ready to use i have this other one that's a concentrate this is neem oil concentrate this one you have to make a solution the instructions are there you can make a solution and then I use another spray bottle if you have a lot of plants. Another thing that I did here, which I will show you, see this guys? So I have a stake, which eventually I'm going to tie my garden eggs to that stake uh, if it grows tall. This particular one looks like it's not gonna grow as tall, but I've had some garden eggs that kind of grew like a tree. These ones are, kind of not that tall so I have not tied it up to the stick yet but we'll see but go ahead and put a stick at this point because you don't want to damage the roots later on just in case you need you need the stick one final thing on what I have done this year is that I planted pollinators around my garden eggs I planted marigolds we grow the garden eggs for the fruit right and so you need to attract pollinators to your garden the garden eggs are insect pollinated so if you don't have anything that are going to attract the pollinators we're talking the bees the butterflies some of the birds to help pollinate your garden eggs you're not going to get fruit so if you're growing garden eggs and it's like oh it's not producing any fruit chances are you don't have anything around that um, is attracting birds and bees to your birds, bees, and butterflies to your garden. So let me show you the pollinators that I have planted. So see that, that's my marigold right here. I have tucked in some marigolds around here. And then I also have, see that white flower over there? That is a pollinator as well. It attracts pollinators, those ones. So I have those planted around here just to help attract the pollinators to help um, pollinate my garden egg plants thank you so much for watching guys i hope you found some value in this video and my one ask for you is to give the video a thumbs up at least comment as well and maybe share the video but most importantly grow a garden because when you grow a garden you grow health until next time everybody happy gardening bye bye